the artist, I'm going to go over this cartoon selfie assignment that you were given inside of Google Drawing um, with some suggestions that might help you do this assignment. The first thing is when you open up the assignment, you should open up the presentation that we see right here on the page. The reason is all the information as far as how to get started, like the video right here, or how to do the facial features can be played. So please watch this information. Otherwise, if you never even open this uh, presentation, you're going to have a lot of difficulty getting this done. So that's going to be step one is open up the assignment, go over the information first, and then start the actual artwork. I'm going to go ahead and open up a copy of the assignment in Google Draw to show you how to get started. All right, here's an example of what the assignment might look like when you first open it. It's going to have the information, some helpful information over here on the right side, some student examples, as well as some more information over here on the left side with your instructions. If you don't have the presentation open, you can click on number two where it says click here to open presentation, and you can also watch the two videos here. On the left side, it also shows you how you're gonna be graded for this assignment. Composition is gonna be 30 points. Quality and craftsmanship is 30 points. Contour lines, another 30 points. And then finally, adding a background is 10 points for this assignment. The first thing you need to do is take a photo. You can insert that photo from your computer if you used your camera app, or you can use the camera inside of Google Draw. If none of those are working, you can also go down here at the bottom search for your camera and take a photo with that camera app so anyway you can take a photo once you have your photo taken you go to insert image just fine depending on where you are saving your artwork for me today i saved mine in my drive so i'm going to open up my drive and then i'll go find the picture that i'm going to use once i select that photo i can click insert and it will be on the page for this assignment, all you need to worry about is drawing your head, eyes, nose, mouth, and part of your shoulder. So you can also crop out information that you don't need. So for example, I'm gonna zoom in so I can see it better on my page. I have my picture selected. I'm gonna come up here to the crop button, which looks like um, a box. It should give me some crop lines. Please make sure that when you're cropping, you make sure that it's giving you the up and down arrows or the side to side arrows. If I do this, uh oh, it's making my face look more slanted than it actually is. That's not correct. So if that messes, if that happens to you, just go back, do undo and try it again. This time go on the outside of that box. There we go. Now I can actually see where it's letting me move those lines into the picture. Once I like the way it looks, I can click enter or I can click away. Now I have my picture. Then I can move it up to one corner. And one of the steps that it tells you in the presentation is you need to crop your workspace, meaning you need to get the corner of the workspace and drag it up to the photo. So for example, this is the workspace, the checkerboard color that you see behind it. And I drag it up to the actual photo. All right now we're ready to start drawing. Okay, so when you are ready to start tracing your face, um, if you go back to the presentation, it gives you videos on how to do it. Go to slide number five or number six. Um, also, if you scroll down, it even shows you screenshots of where to click inside of Schoology or inside of Google Draw. So for example, for this, you're gonna be using a lot of the curve line tool. I'm not gonna go over everything because that's why the videos are there for you, but I'm just gonna give you some tips on how to do some things. So for example, right here, when I draw, using the curve line tool over here on the left side of the screen, I need to click on the little arrow pointing down where this line is and find curve. I also need to zoom in. Please use your zoom in button. Do not be like this. Don't be trying to trace it really far away. You can't see it. So make sure that you actually zoom into the picture so you can actually see what's on your face. 
If that's not enough, you can go back in and you can zoom in more. The first thing that you want to do is you want to try and trace the shape of your face and then move on to the details inside of your face. So let me go ahead and show you by doing that here on the screen. I'm going to do it really quickly just as a demo. When you do it, you want to take your time and as I go around, I'm clicking my mouse. I'm just going to do my face first, and I can do my hair later. Okay, now if this happens to you, there is actually, it tells you right here, if this happens to you, you need to make the fill color transparent. So check this out. I'm going to go back. I click on the actual picture by using the select tool over here. I'll click on the shape I just made. Then I go up here to the fill color and make it transparent. And now I can actually see the inside of my face. Another thing you could do, uh, a step that I felt this is very helpful, is you can change the line color by coming up here to border color, and you can make it a lighter color if you want to be able to see it on your page. You can also go back if you were like later, oh, I don't like that, you can um, change it back to black. Here's another thing that I, I haven't shown you that's not in the presentation is you can make your picture transparent, meaning you can make it lighter and you can actually see as you draw. So check this out. To do this, you need to actually click on the photo. I would suggest clicking over here in the background. And when you click on that, this option up here at the top appears called Format Options. I'm going to click that one time. Then what appears on the screen are some options for your photo, like size, position, recolor, you're only going to focus on adjustment, so find adjustment. Then once you do adjustment, you'll see the first option is transparency. That means it's going to make your picture lighter. So as I drag it to the right, you'll notice that my picture starts to disappear. But it's not disappeared all the way until I go all the way to the right. But if I'm drawing and I want to be able to see the lines I'm making, it's probably a good idea to set transparency in the middle at like 50%. Then I can actually go back into my artwork. Let's say, for example, I'm doing the eyes now. And I can actually see my lines as I make them. So check this out. If this happens to you again, you can select it, click on here, and make it transparent. You can also change the line. Don't forget to add circles inside of your eye. If you go back to the presentation on slides 14 and 15, they show you how to do, do the eyes, and on slide 16, it shows you how to do the mouth. So let me zoom out and show you one that I've been working on. If I want to see what it looks like, I can again click on that picture, go to transparent, and now I'm starting to see my face. Another tip that I have for you with the nose is when you're drawing the nose, just think about the little curves, the darkest areas around your nose. You don't want to do just a straight line coming down from your eyebrow to nose. It's going to look a little weird. So just try and do the curves of your nose, maybe even if your nostrils show the little holes in there, just like the ones you see over here on the left side of the screen. I hope this information helps you. Continue working on it, and when you're done tracing it, one of the last things you're going to be graded on is adding a background. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. It also shows you inside of the video, inside of the presentation, as well as the slideshow. But let's just do it real quick. Okay, when I'm done, obviously I'm not done right here, so this is not an, a done artwork, but let me just show you how to make um, your background color. So first, you want to make sure your picture is all the way transparent. When I'm ready, I come up here, find the Shape tool, and I go to Rectangle. Then what I would do is I click on one edge of the page and move it down to the other edge of the page. If that doesn't work the first time, you might need to zoom out a little and try it again. I'm dragging from one side to the other side. Now, this is going to happen. That's okay, because what you need to do now is move this shape behind the actual artwork. There's a couple ways you could do it. You could click on Arrange, 
order center back or you can right click on this rectangle find the word order and center back now what it did is it moved that rectangle behind my drawing I can also change the color you don't need to have this blue color if you don't like it by clicking on the shape and then finding the paint bucket up here at the top Oh, I think it's using my picture. Okay, let me try this again. If this is not working, it's probably because you still have your picture behind it. So what you could do too is move your picture over to the side and then come back and touch or click on the rectangle. Now the paint bucket should appear. You could do a gradient or you could do a solid color. You can even make your own color by going to custom clicking on the plus button and then going through and making whatever color you want to do. I'm going to try green see what it looks like. Let's say you're completely done, then you are able to turn it in. But before you do that, make sure that you have followed all the steps and your artworks are following the guidelines to create your cartoon selfie. All right, artists, I hope this information helped you. Please message me, contact me, or ask for questions on Zoom if you need any help.